Good morning and praise the Lord. It's good to see you once again and I bless the Lord for this new day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Always we rejoice because he's a good God and everything he does is good. Now the book of Ruth chapter 1 verse 16 to 17 the Bible says, But Ruth said, Do not urge me to leave you or to turn back from following you. For where you go, I will go, and where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord do the same to me as he has done to you, and more also, if anything but death separates me from you. Now, in this conversation prior to this, Naomi was at a place where she was going back to Jerusalem, to Bethlehem, I mean, and all she had was herself and these two daughters-in-law, whom she felt should not have followed her. And so she did everything to stop them. She explained to them why they cannot go with her. Like, she had nothing to offer them. She was a widow and she was motherless. She can never have another baby. Like, when would that baby grow up for these girls to even marry? So she was like... I have nothing to offer you girls. Just remain here in Moab. Allow me go. One of the daughters, that is uh, Orpah, chose to stay. She was like, um, after much reasoning, I think, Mama, you're right. There's nothing for me in Bethlehem. Let me just remain here. But here is Ruth making a decree. She tells Mama, you know what? I have heard you. Everything you have said, you have been clear enough for me to understand. But even after all that, Mama... I am going with you. Where you go, I go. Where you lodge, I lodge. Your people, my people. Your God, my God. You die, I die there. I mean, mama, I am not leaving you for anything. I am going with you. And, and, and she was so categorical. God deal with me so. If only but death will separate me from you. Her mind was made up. She was like, you know what, mama? I am not leaving you for anything. And indeed, when she was going to Bethlehem, she was sure she was sure there's nothing else but all she wanted was to be with mama at any cost she was like i am not in this for the profit i am in this for pursuing you and you and your god and your people just everything naomi i want that's all she pursued now allow me say this i know we get to know god and we get to receive the free grace of i mean the free gift of salvation in different ways for different reasons and everything but this day, I just came to ask you, why do you pursue God? What is the reason you pursue God? What is the reason you pray to God? What is the reason you seek God? Because sometimes when we only seek him because of what he will give us, what happens when we do not receive what we want? I'm not saying he won't give us, but there, you can agree with me. There are times you can wait on God on something, like really wait, like really, really wait, and it's not forthcoming. Question is, will you still trust him? Will you still hold on him? Will you still pursue him? Will you still talk about him? Will you still make him known? Why are you pursuing him? Is the question I'm asking us today. Are we like Orpah, who will say, I want God because I know if I get God, I will get one, two, three, and four things. Is that the reason you're pursuing? Or are you like Ruth who will say, I don't care what is, what is in for me. Even if there is nothing in for me, I want him. There's a friend who once asked this question. He, 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 he asked himself a question. So what happens? What if indeed when all is said and done, God shows up someday and he says, you know what, my people? Disclaimer. This whole heaven thing is a fallacy. It's not true. So there's no heaven for you. There's nothing like get born again, go to heaven. No, there's no heaven. So you can do life the way you want. Question is, would I still remain in the faith? And that pastor answered himself. He said, you know what? I will. Because since I knew Christ, since I received this gift of salvation, my life has never been the same again. I have joy. I have peace. I am just happy. I mean, everything about my heart, my soul, my mind is okay, is in tune. I think that is reason enough to pursue God. Can that be a challenge to you too? That the reason you will remain seeking God is because of him, not because of things. 
not in the pursuit of the blessing but the blesser not in pursuit of the healer but i mean the healing but the healer not in pursuit of the provision but for the provider himself seeking god for who he is pursuing god for who he is following god for who he is whether we are getting something whether we are not getting anything in the good in the bad in the ugly, in the beautiful, in the rain, in the sun, that we will pass you. We will be like Ruth. Our minds are made up. Let it be known to you. Like the three Hebrew boys, when they were put at a place, they are told, you have to bow down. They said, we are not bowing down. We will only worship Jehovah God. And they tell them, we will throw you to the, into the furnace of fire. And they said, it's okay. Even if you throw us in the furnace, we know that he will rescue us. But even if he does not rescue us, good Lord, even if he does not rescue us, let it be known to you, O King, we will not bow. So whether he rescues us or he doesn't rescue us, our minds are made up. We are bowing to no foreign God. Oh, dear Lord, may our minds be like those three Hebrew boys. May our minds be like Ruth. Our minds being made up that I will pursue God irrespective. I am not pursuing it for the gain. I am pursuing it for the relationship. Hey, Jesus Christ, may that be your prayer. May that be your desire. And may that be your pursuit in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray this day that you will help us. Help us assess our priorities. Help us assess our intentions. Help us align ourselves to the right course and the right things. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that our minds will be made up for you. Our minds will be made up to pursue you, to walk with you, to know you, to build our relationship with you. Let it be the prayer of our hearts, the desire of our hearts, the longing of our hearts every day in the name of Jesus Christ, that irrespective of how things turn or how things are even currently, we will seek God. We will pursue God. We will walk with you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that we shall be grounded in that one thing, that no matter what comes, however it comes, we shall be seeking God. We shall be waiting on God. We shall be loving God. We shall be making God known irrespective. I pray that our minds will be made up on that matter. Indeed, in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you so much and the Lord bless you. <coughs> Sorry, the Lord keep you, the Lord sustain you, and the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Have an amazing day ahead. And remember, mind made up. Remember that song, I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back. May your mind be made up in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom and the Lord bless you. See you tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen. Have an amazing day to the glory of God. Amen.